Hello, my name is King Vizier, and welcome to my first video back from my forced break. Now, before we get in, before we get on with the video, um, if you like the video, please leave a like and subscribe and um share if you want. But let's get on with the video where today I'm going to show you how I'm going to show you some furniture build hacks that I'd like you to try if you want. Anyways, let's get started with the video. Hello. So to start this video off, we have our very first time which is chairs. But anyways, without further ado, here are some chair designs I have created. Now how do you make these ones in particular? Because these ones are functional. I could have said another one, but I didn't. But these chairs are functional. So how do you make them? Well, that would be pretty dang simple. Now what you will need is a rail, a minecart, trap doors to make the armrests and such. your choice. Just make sure it matches with the trap doors a bit. And a piston and a redstone block. Or really any type of redstone signal making thing as long as it goes at once. Now what you need to do is you need to basically extremely simple so, except it contains three trapdoors and this is supposed to be like a dentist type of chair like when you go to the dentist and get your teeth checked you know yeah this is my representation of it now anyways on to the next part we have clocks of all kinds type of clock, which is another version of this type of They're both grandfather clocks, by the way. But well, basically, to make this one, we just need all of this. But to make this one, it's literally the same thing as the other hack over here, except instead of using just a minecart, you add a minecart with a chest. Because sometimes in these grandfather clocks, they have um, little compartments where you can store stuff, like right here. There's nothing in there currently, so let's just put my head. Yes. But 
But anyways, we're done with this. Well, not sort of. This is supposed to be a wall clock, which goes on the wall at the very top. It doesn't have any body. It literally just hangs by itself. I've got a barrier block here, but that is not important. Now, and this is supposed to be like a clock at the edge of your nightstand. You know, wakes you up in the morning and all that. I've got that here too. Now, without any further ado, let's get on with the next one. So basically, this one is table act. The old classic piston with like a carpet or something on top. It's a very basic table, but it's an oldie, but a goodie. Big one is a table entirely made of trap doors. Practically, you just need to do that, shift, and do that. a central stove part which you sometimes see in Asian restaurants where they have like the like place where you make the food in the middle of the table and you basically go around and cook what you need on it basically this is supposed to represent that and this is a table with mouse will actually be in the next tab but anyways to make this type of table, you need string, carpet of some kind, and a fence. Basically, make a table like this. And the string keeps the carpet in place because without the string, it just does that. But anyways, that's the end of these packs right here. The next tab we've got is numerous amounts of carpets. Hold on, let me go and completely remove all this stuff from the inventory. Basically, we've got here, we've got a very fluffy carpet, which you take some coral, a slab, a waterlogged slab. I'll show you how to do that in a moment. Basically, in your floor, you place a upside down slab, and then you right click it with your bucket. And now it's just waterlogged, and you can place your coral friend, and that will stay this bright red color until you remove the slab, of course, and the water source. But basically, if you had all this, if you add all of these together, you can create a really fluffy carpet, which is very good hack, in my opinion. It is a hack with moss. Now, moss, to me, is like point between light green and dark green and basically if you want like a medium if you want to have like a green carpet but you don't want it to be too dark or too light you can just choose moss and it's like great in between so that's the hack with moss carpet and then we've got the old the oldie but a goodie carpet by taking a mix of red wool and red carpet and basically the like a random thing here you just place the red wool and then your carpet and it creates like a really cozy type of carpet now as this was demonstration I will now Let me 
we've got my take on a modern type of carpet. Modern type of carpets are very pristine. They're not like all over the place. They're like very pristine. But this is a very thick type of carpet. Which I absolutely love because it looks thick without looking thick. If you know what I mean. Because I don't know how to speak English that well. <laughs> and this is a um, very interesting take. This is a flat. This is like a carpet but with concrete powder. Here's my saddle floor. But anyways, we're done with this hat now. And this is beds. Let's roll it. And over here we've got a bunk bed. Basically, how do you make this? Well, Choice, and then place your 
pressure plate on the block the item frame is on. But because the item frame is an entity, you can actually place your weighted pressure plate on the same block that the item frame is on. And you basically get this effect of a plate. However, that effect is marred by an item frame, and even though there are invisible item frames, they're only available in creative and using commands. So, there you go. And, yeah. Basically, this is a sink. It's an all day but a goodie. Cauldron, filled with water, and then you got your faucet. Very simple. Now, this is a hack using your smoker. A campfire and some activator rails. Now you can't power these activator rails, but you'd have to have like some type of redstone source nearby. But let's go get our campfire. And you basically and then you place rails on top by doing that. And you get this working type of stove. Which is very helpful. Also, a benefit of using a smoker, it actually looks like an oven. Like a modern day oven. So, so it works. Things are basically covered. on top. There's always that's the thing done with this. And the next thing is chandeliers. You've got your oldie and a goodie, which is by using fences and torches. This one, again, another oldie but a goodie by using end rods, which are pretty where to get unless you have an infinite supply of blaze rods and coarse fruits. Very self-explanatory. Now this is using amethyst, which I absolutely love. Just listen to this. you can make by using beeswax and string. But be careful with collecting the beeswax. Yes. And these are technically not chandeliers, but they're light fixtures. Please excuse the mouse. But basically you just take your rod of some kind, copper rod, fence, literally whatever, Place your candles on top. The thing is, once your thing is, once you light the candle, it spreads to any future candles you place on the same block. So light this candle, and then they all stay lit. Yep. Now this is bathroom stuff, which is the last back for today's video. So, basically over here we've got a shower. We can basically use the smoker again to make a drainage. Then of course we've got the lever for the uh, shower head. But 
to make it actually feel like it's actually showering you. There's a half cup over here, which uses a trap, a water log trap door, which again, from the baby sack, you just right click on the trap door while shifting, and you can water log it. And it creates this tripping effect. Now, of course, if you don't have particles on, sink design. Very self-explanatory. This is a bathtub using the same water logging technique. Again, self-explanatory. Now this is a bathroom mirror, which I can actually show you how to make. Take a gray banner, white dye, light blue dye, and your black dye. Basically, to create the sheen on it, you first have to get this, which is a sinister, which basically creates that sheen. You can do it the other way, either way, that's your choice. And then you have to place, you have to get two gradients. You've got the upper gradient and then the lower gradient. So now you've got that sheen, but to add that border, you just do that and just add a border. And there you have it. You have yourself a mirror. Is it functional? No but it at least brings the aesthetic of a mirror. Now, that is the end of today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it, as I really enjoyed making it, and it actually being a successful recording, but that's another story for another day. I hope you all have a lovely day, and again, have a lovely day, and I'll see you the next time I record a video. Bye!